The first step of the one-handed backhand progressions is to establish your contact point and follow through. Start by getting an acceptable one-handed backhand grip. I'm going to use the eastern backhand grip, but you can be more extreme if you want to be. And get to your contact point, about waist high, a little bit out in front of your body. And you want your hitting arm to be basically straight. And then from here, you're simply going to follow through. So let's watch me shadowing this motion. Again, it's real simple. Here I am at my supposed contact point, and I'm just going to follow through, uh, keep the relationship between my racket and my hitting arm the same when I follow through. Let's watch that one more time. Here's contact. Relationship between the hitting arm and the racket stays the same, and I end up in the follow through with the racket more or less pointed up at the sky. Once you've mastered the shadowing, now it's time to hit some tennis balls, and that's what I'm doing behind me. Starting at contact, I'm going to hit and then follow through. Again, it's a very simple motion, not trying to hit hard, just making sure that I work the technique. And when I follow through, the relationship between my tennis racket and my hitting arm is going to stay the same. So from contact, it doesn't change. I'm just rotating from the shoulder to point the racket straight up in the air. From the back perspective, you'll notice first that I'm hitting the tennis ball down the line. When you hit, you probably want to go cross court but I'm going down the line just based on how we set up the camera. And again, I'm not hitting the ball hard, just pushing it over the net and making sure that I work the technique that from contact I follow through correctly.